sa channel ko. So, feel free to like. Then, share natin sa iba, no? Sa mga nangangailangan na ganyan ng topics. And then, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon para naman lagi kang updated sa mga videos ko. So, our lesson for today is all about the finding the slope using the formula. Finding the slope pala using its formula. So, for example, we have a Cartesian plane. In our Cartesian plane, we have a line. And in this line, we will get two points. So, this is the point 1 and the point 2. And then, we know that the slope of a line represent or denoted by M, no? this is the changes in Y over changes in X. Alam natin yan, ano nakaraan. So, in changes in Y, so, we will have from these two points, no, these are the components. Components lang yan, no? So, if this point is negative 2 and negative 3, and other, the point 2 is 2 and negative 1, and then, they are the components for our formula. So, y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So, the point 1 is our x sub 1 and y sub 1. No? Ito yung negative 2 and negative 3. The point number 2 is our x sub 2, x sub 2, and comma, y sub 2. So, anong gagawin natin sa mga points na yan? So, ipa-plug in lang natin sa ating formula. So, the y sub 2, no? y sub 2, meaning, uh, ang, y, ang x sub 1 natin is natin, it's negative 2 and negative 3, the point 1, it's point 1, and the point 2 will be the 2 and negative 1. So, gagawin natin yan, no? Ipa-plug doon natin yung formula. What is our y sub 2, which is negative 1 minus, dahil minus 2, no? Negative 1 minus negative 3 divided by the 2 minus x sub 2, which is 2 minus negative 2. So, ang mangyayari dyan, no? Negative 1, simplify, negative and negative becomes positive 3 over 2 negative and negative becomes positive again 2. So, the answer will be positive 2 over 4 or this is 1 ha. So, iyan ang pagkuha ng slope of a line using the formula. So, paano naman kapag binago natin yung points? Magbabago ba kanyang slope? Kunyari, si point 2, gagawin natin si point 1, at si point 1 ay gagawin natin si point 2. So, eto, ay na ito si point 2, gagawin natin point 1, ito naman si point 2. So, yan ay magiging katulad ng formula natin kanina, no? which is m equals y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So, tingnan natin kung magbabago yung kanyang slope kapag binago natin yung points. Kasi kumuha lang naman tayo ng points sa two points in the line. No? So, ang y sub 2 natin, so m is y sub 2 natin is negative 3 minus, the operation is subtraction, minus negative 1 over the x sub 2 is negative 2 minus the positive 2. So, ang mangyayari, no? So, negative 3 minus negative 1. So, negative negative magiging addition to, no? Plus 1 over negative 2 minus 2 is negative 4. 
So, ang mangyayari dyan, no, negative 3 plus 2 is negative 2 over negative 4 or because negative divided negative is positive, 2 over 4, lowest term, 1 half. So, hindi magbabago ang ating slope kahit gawin natin yung points niya. No? Okay, let's go to another example. So, x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, y sub 2. So, formula natin, m equals d, changes in y over changes in, in x, y sub 2 minus y sub 1, over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So, ang y sub 2 natin, which is negative 2, minus positive 5, which is, which is the y sub 1, over the x sub 2, is 3, minus negative 4, which is the x sub 1. So, negative 2 minus 5 is negative 7 over negative 3 minus magiging addition ito. So, 3 plus 4. So, the answer will be se negative 7 over 7 or 7 divided by 7 is 1 may negative. So, negative 1 is the slope of this example. No? So, Okay naman, no? I uh, will give you another uh, example number 3, no? So, kayo sasagot, and then write your answer below, no? And then, uh, titignan ko, sasagotin ko kung tama yung inyong uh, ginawa, no? So, ito yung tanong. No? So, sana may natutunan kayo. So, don't forget to like. Then, share natin sa iba. Then, subscribe. Pakihit po yung uh, notification bell para malagi kang updated sa aking mga videos. So, that's all, no? Good luck, soldier!